What we've seen in recent months is um, a incredible increase in how staff are treated unfairly and unkindly um, by the public who are accessing services and that's everything from swearing at staff being uh, intimidating so um, encroaching on staff's personal space uh, raising of voices and um, if that situation can't be diffused that sadly has led to physical assaults on staff. Some staff have been spat at, uh, physically hurt, required medical treatment themselves. Um, and it's led to staff absence. It hugely affects morale. And I think it makes staff feel that they're not safe at work. It's just nothing like we've seen before. Um, and so we've had to put additional measures in place. Uh, we have a police officer on site now, and I think that's something that we never thought we would have to do. Just give us a sense, if you can, about the sort of scale of the abuse. Is it every day? Is it every shift? Definitely daily. Um, sometimes we might experience that a couple of times per shift. Um, I think verbal abuse we experience daily, um, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, the more extreme forms of abuse, um, so threats, so we've, we have had patients who will say to staff that, you know, they, they know what they look like, um, so, and they will follow them, um, threats to kill, and um, they're quite extreme and, and really intimidating, frightening for staff, and abuse in terms of, um, punching of staff, kicking of staff um, is growing in its frequency. Why do you think this is happening now? Why is it escalated now, do you think? Obviously, um, at waiting, so coming to hospital and feeling that you have to wait to be seen uh, in an emergency department. There's still an expectation when you come to hospital that you would be asked to wear a face covering, um, to wash your hands, um, and we're still quite restricted in terms of number of people who can attend with a patient and, and our visiting. So sometimes that leads to frustration because I think patients don't understand uh, that we're very different to everywhere else. They're essentially angry being asked to wear masks. Yes. Yeah. Really angry. Sometimes. Really angry, uh, refuse. And this is different, Jackie, to those who are clinically exempt from wearing a mask. Given everything that all of your staff have done over the past really difficult year and a half, given that we were all out clapping for carers like you, to be spat at, to be sworn at, to be assaulted. What do, you, what do you feel about that? So I think we feel really hurt. I think staff feel let down, unappreciated, undervalued. And I think we generally feel that people don't see us as humans either. I wonder what you feel or what you want to say about your staff who continue to work through this? Um, so I'm incredibly proud every day. They're amazing. I don't know how they do it. They do it selflessly, with dignity and with respect for each other. And I think we should all be incredibly grateful that they're here and they come back every day without any grumble at all. And I think we need to really ensure that we recognize their tireless efforts. And we just need to wrap them with a bit more love and kindness genuinely, but incredibly proud in answer to your question. Rachel Haley, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you.